right now. Feeling a lot of it. My shoulders and my lower back. Uh, so my back has been killing me this whole hike. I was having a lot of trouble over the weekend. I've, I've been dealing with a few injuries. Dealing with a few injuries. A few injuries. A few injuries. A few injuries. Hello, my people. Finer Bob here. Thanks for checking out the video. Uh, so today is going to be a bit of a different type of a video than I normally put out. Um, it's going to be more of just a channel update. Uh, I, I haven't been uploading for a while. And yeah, I just figured I'd get you guys up to speed with what's going on with me. And then um, yeah, we can all move forward. Yeah, so I, I didn't really know how I was going to talk about this. Um, you know, at first it was something I kind of ignored and then, yeah, just uh, kind of got worse and worse. Um, but basically, I f***ed up my back. I herniated a disc in my lumbar spine, which is basically just like the lower part of your spine. The discs are like these little sort of jellies between each of your vertebrae, I think. And basically what happened is one of those discs got compressed and it swelled out and it is pushing on one of my nerves that's like running down my leg. So yeah, I basically have just been in a ton of pain and um, I've been on a ton of anti-inflammatory steroids and muscle relaxers and um, yeah, just been pretty incapacitated for several weeks now. Um, starting to improve. Uh, the medicines definitely helped a lot and I'm going to hopefully start PT next week. But I just wanted to get you guys up to speed with what's going on with me so that, <clears throat> you know, you're not just like wondering why you subscribed and I'm not uploading videos. Yeah, so when it comes to the back, I'm, I'm sure you guys probably wanted some clip with like an epic fail, but the reality of it is just a lot more boring. And it's that the past three years or four years, I've steadily gained about 10 pounds a year. And I've been sitting at a desk for most of my time, uh, not really doing a very good job taking care of myself. Um, and yeah, uh, that's just really been reflected in this injury. And I kind of feel like I'm at a place where I have to sort of start from scratch when it comes to conditioning um, for the types of hikes that I'm doing. Um, apparently, what I'm experiencing right now is very typical of weekend warrior types. Um, and, you know, in medical terms, a weekend warrior is someone who works a office job during the week and then goes and skis or does something extreme on the weekend without having really conditioned themselves throughout the week for that level of intensity of activity. So, you know, you see professional athletes doing hours and hours of warm-ups and hours and hours of, you know, post-game rubdowns and ice baths and things like that. And they're taking care of their bodies, you know, to make sure that they're at their peak performance. So, you know, just imagine trying to do what they do, but without, I'm, I'm not saying that I do what professional athletes do, but I'm just saying that the activities that I choose to film and participate in, um, generally are much more strenuous than the amount of exercise that I typically put in on a day-to-day -day basis. And, uh, yeah, I just, uh, I need to make some changes, some serious changes. But, uh, yeah, in the meantime, I have a lot of video ideas that I can make from home. I've just been, you know, kind of on my ass and I've just felt, you know, just very out of it. And it's been pretty debilitating and, uh, demoralizing, but yeah, hopefully I've, uh, I've found the bottom of this, uh, of this trench of life. And, uh, I am hopefully going to be only uh, improving from here. So I am going to be incapacitated for uh, several months while I do physical therapy. I really don't want to injure my back again. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take the time to do that. And yeah, I'll, I'll bring you guys along on that journey with me so that um, once I've, you know, learned the different 
types of conditioning exercises and, um, you know, habits to get into in order to stay in shape, to ski and hike and do all the things that we love to do. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll share that with you, uh, so that you guys can benefit from my experience and, and, uh, yeah, what I'm going through and the knowledge that I'm going to be hopefully gaining as a result of it. Um, yeah, I, I, I was, you know, very bummed at first. It was, it was, um, in my mind, just a big setback. I was, I was on a really big roll with this channel, just like posting every week for, um, you know, a few months and, uh, yeah, it was, it was really disheartening to sort of let that slip away. Yeah. So I kind of got into a bit of a creative rut as well, but you can take away benefits from even bad experiences. So in this case, I wasn't able to make as many reviews or, you know, location guides as I would have liked to this winter, but you know, I'm, I'm opening my experiences up to other important knowledge that you know, once, you know, I've digested it and, and internalized it, you know, I'll be able to share with you guys the benefits of, of this experience. And, and so hopefully, yeah, once I go through PT, heal up a bit, I'll have enough knowledge to put together some sort of exercise regimen for times when you're stuck at home and, and you want to stay in shape to go out into the woods and you know, be in nature, but you, you don't have the opportunity or the time or you're locked in for whatever reason. So in other news, a little bit more positive news, uh, if you ask me, um, my wife and I this summer will be moving to Denver, Colorado. My wife got a job out there um, that starts uh, this July. So yeah, I mean, uh, just really stoked to be moving out west uh you know i've hiked a little bit in colorado and you know i i did a one ski trip to wyoming uh with the uh, knolls school i took a course with them when i was in college but uh yeah i've never skied in colorado i've always wanted to uh my brother you know goes to school out in boulder so i'm really looking forward to spending more time with him i'm gonna be filming a lot together and uh you know getting after it. Uh, so yeah, just, you know, going to spend the next couple months before the move healing up, doing physical therapy. And then, yeah, I'm just really stoked to, uh, be moving to, uh, a, a much more, uh, let's say outdoor friendly place compared to where I live now. You know, um, four years ago, we actually thought that we were going to be moving to Colorado. Um, and you know, through some just whatever, you know, shit happens and didn't work out. We ended up here on Long Island, um, which, you know, has, has definitely been really rough for me. Um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's just, uh, you know, I mean, I'm sure it's a wonderful place for people who, who grew up here and who, you know, are, are into going to the beach and, and that sort of thing. But, um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not well suited for this environment, let's say. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely stoked to be moving out West. Um, that's to say I'm still an East coast guy, New England born and bred. I, I don't want you to think that I'm not going to be making any more videos about locations in New England. You know, my extended family, my wife's extended family, both live in the Northeast. So I'll be here very frequently and I'll still be filming, making videos about locations out here. Um, but you know, it'll be nice to also incorporate some other locations into my videos and, you know, hopefully like maybe expose some, some new, new groups of people, uh, to my content, just because I, I feel like I'm kind of limited, uh, by location in terms of viewership, um, just by way of the fact that, you know, you're not going to search for a hike in New Hampshire if you live in California. So yeah, um. Just obviously I was hoping to travel more this past year and do more stuff like that. Um, but obviously, yeah, uh, we all know what happened there. I got my first vaccine yesterday, uh, for, or two days ago. Um, so that, that is promising. I'm getting my next one in a couple of weeks. So I'm, I'm really, uh, stoked to hopefully like, you know, see my grandparents. Like I haven't seen my grandparents 
in over a year. This is the longest I've ever gone without seeing them. You know, I usually visit them several times a year in Canada. Um, but yeah, the border's been closed. I haven't seen my cousins or aunt and uncle either. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been rough and I'm, you know, I'm very blessed that, you know, no one very close to me got very sick or, or passed away. Although I do know a lot of people who, who lost people and yeah, that's, um, yeah, I just, uh, hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all staying healthy and, um, sorry, sorry if I was a bit of a bummer, uh, in the beginning of this video, it's just like really how I've been feeling, um, you know, with this back injury and just, you know, the, the, the drugs, the, the anti-inflammatory drugs, the muscle relaxers, they, they just like put you in a fog and, you know, you're not supposed to like, obviously I, I was in a lot of pain. So I, w I was like on kind of like not bed rest, but like, don't move around too much, you know, let, let yourself recover. Rest is the most important thing at this point while you're, you know, taking these drugs. So I obviously haven't been able to get any exercise, um, you know, outside of what I can do, just like around the house. That's not like, you know, going to affect my back too much, but yeah, I've just been taking it easy, but I've also been really worked up and antsy because yeah, I haven't been able to, uh, get any of that energy out. I'll, I'll try to make some videos about the things that I talked about in the meantime. And yeah, I'll, I'll keep you posted on my recovery and take you along on that journey. And then, you know, we'll, uh, hopefully get in some dope hikes and, uh, in Colorado, you know, second half of the summer and the fall, and then obviously ski season. I just want to talk a little bit about, um, you know, just like trends on YouTube and, and, you know, riding the wave of, of, um, you know, just sort of strategically managing my, my upload schedule. Um, you know, obviously for, for the last while I've been really trying to focus on upload frequency. And, you know, I definitely got to a point at the end of last year where I was able to upload a video a week and, and get a good, um, output going there. But my biggest problem was that I was filming all of these hiking videos throughout the summer and fall. And then, you know, towards the end of the fall before ski season would start, I'd have this long period where I wasn't do going on many trips just because the weather's crappy. And, I, you know, I'm uploading all these hiking videos that I filmed over the summer and then ski season would start in, you know, end of December, January, and I'd get all this skiing footage over the course of January, February, March or whatever. Uh, and then, you know, you have like a little bit of a springtime lull before, you know, the hiking trails, you know, dry up a little bit. And, you know, I'd, I'd work on planning out the post-processing of all those videos that I filmed over the course of the winter. But the problem is, and I noticed this, obviously like the idea crossed my mind previously, but I really noticed it in the fall um, because last, well, so let me backtrack. Last winter, um, sometime in February, I think, uh, February, 2020, I uploaded my Killington video. It did okay, you know, in the beginning. Um, uh, it, it wasn't my best video. It wasn't my worst video. Um, but in October, like beginning of October, it just started taking off, like exploding with views. And, you know, it was my highest performing video for like several months. Um, even though it was pretty old. And, um, you know, the reason for that is obviously like people don't search for skiing related things when ski season is over. They see, they search for it when, it's coming up. So, um, you know, I've like, you know, I didn't do this on purpose, but like the fact that I haven't been able to make so many videos has kind of worked in my favor because now I'm kind of able to save a lot of my skiing footage for this fall. And I can, you know, focus on making hiking videos this summer or, you know, the videos that I mentioned so that, you know, I can, I can put out these videos at a time of year when people are actually looking for them. Obviously, if you're a subscriber, which I highly encourage you to uh, to consider, um, you know you'll you can get my videos anytime and whenever they come out. Um, and if you're just checking the channel and watching things, you know retroactively, like 
yeah, no harm, no foul. But, you know, uh, most of the views that people get on their YouTube videos occur or the highest, you know, the highest view potential occurs generally when it's uploaded. And so a video is much more likely to succeed if it's successful when, in the beginning. And so, you know, uh, I, I just think it's important for me to do everything I can to to make sure that these videos are seen by as many people as possible. And if it's something small like, you know, um, postponing a video six months so that it comes out during like the appropriate season uh, for for that content, I, I think, um, you know, I'm, I'm only doing myself a favor. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess, you know, the combination of this back injury and the pandemic and um, you know, the, moving to Colorado and this whole, um, you know, notion of, of sort of having to sort of flip my content by like six months, uh, or like delay my content by six months, you know, is, is just going to sort of act as a transition period for this channel so that I can get on track or get back on track or onto a more productive track and, uh, yeah, I just, uh, I just want to, you know, I want to make this as good as it can be. Um, you know, I'm, I'm really lucky to have the opportunity to, to, uh, spend time on something like this. Um, you know, uh, you know, obviously huge part of that. I mean, the only reason I'm able to do that is because of my wife and her, her income and, um, you know, uh, her career as a doctor and, um, you know, I'm extremely thankful for that. And, you know, I'm thankful for her, uh, ability to trust me and, you know, in my, uh, in my vision for, for the future of, of this channel and, and hopefully the business that, um, you know, thrives around it. Um, I, you know, I really just, I love spending time outdoors and, I just feel like there's so much potential for, you know, sharing the, the, the benefits and, and beauty of, of spending time outside. And, you know, like I've always wanted to make YouTube channel, like since I was in high school when it first, when YouTube first came out and I just sort of never really knew what I would make it about. And yeah, I mean, I just, kind of realize that I love sharing awesome experiences with my friends and, you know, just so that they can have the knowledge to create an awesome experience for themselves. And, you know, even if we're not friends, you know, IRL, as the gamers say, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled to see all of your comments. I mean, like, it is so, so good to read comments about people who like from people who appreciate the the content it's it's the most uplifting feeling to hear about you know someone who went on a hike and had a great time because of the video or they found my gear video very helpful or they thought it was funny or yeah whatever i mean some of my older videos are a little more cringy and you know a little bit more uh uh, trying to be funny than actually funny. And some people call me out on that. And, you know, uh, as, as much as it stings, I, I do appreciate the feedback. Um, but yeah, I mean, just like hearing all the, like, you know, I, I don't really get that many negative comments, you know, it's mostly positive, like 95% positive. And, you know, just the feeling of, of knowing that, that someone had such a good experience or, or enjoy the video so much that they, you know, are, are willing to take the time to leave a comment, you know, to, to mention that to me, like that, it, it just really feels good. And, you know, especially like during times like this, when, you know, the world's looking bleak and, you know, especially, uh, when my back's messed up and I'm, I'm like feeling down on myself, you know, it's, um, it's, it's, it's invaluable. And, you know, I can't thank you, you all enough for, for the support. Um, and, you know, obviously the people in my life, you know, uh, that's, that's a whole other level, but, you know, none of this would be possible without you guys, the viewers and, and your feedback and, 
you know, your, your desire to, to spend more time outside. And, um, and so, yeah, just saying thank you for the positive feedback. Um, also the negative feedback, please be honest with me. I, I, you know, nobody benefits from somebody telling me that they liked something that was bad. I mean, if you liked it, it's one thing, but if it's bad, you can, you can say that. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm also hoping to like do more collaborations. Um, you know, I've been talking with a couple of friends who, who do some, some similar stuff. Um, not necessarily on YouTube, but, uh, you know, working on a few collabs and, you know, I'm hoping to sort of be more integrated into the community in Denver than, than I was here in, in Long Island, uh, or on Long Island. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I don't think I really handled my time here as well as I could have. Um, and, you know, I, I, I built up this whole channel during this time. Um, but yeah, you know, like, uh, at a certain, a certain time, uh, at a certain point you got to, uh, look, look at reality and understand that you know, you can't, you can't just like spend your time doing something forever if it's not going to, uh, if it's not going to support you or, or at least support itself. Um, so <clears throat> I've, I've put out a bunch of job applications for just like random outdoor gear shops and things that, uh, you know, might want to hire me part time for when I get out there. So if you know anyone, uh, who could benefit from what skills that you think I might have, um, yeah, feel free to put me in touch. Uh, I've got a uh, email uh, address in my channel description over on the uh, the channel page, uh, so you can hit me up. Uh, I'd really appreciate that. Um, yeah, I applied for a couple videography jobs as well, um, although my my training is pretty amateurish and self taught. So you know, I don't know how many people are going to want to pay me too much money to do that stuff. But yeah, I don't know. I've been experimenting with other ways to to monetize this channel. And, you know, I'm hoping that, that, you know, when, when I initially started it, I was, I was freelancing, um, writing product reviews and, you know, I, the main reason I started the channel was kind of as a way to get my name out there a little bit more and, and land more gigs. Um, but you know, the more I, I kind of did this, I kind of realized that, in the long run, the more effort you spend on your own content, um, you know, the more benefit you'll get out of it in the long run as well. You know, uh, it, it, it's just such a bottleneck when you have like editors who haven't read your draft and you're just like itching to move on and you, you can't do any work because they haven't signed off on your, on the feedback. And since you're a contractor, you're not supposed to work extra hours. And then, you know, all of a sudden the, the deadline's approaching and like they've been dilly dallying for months and you've just been waiting to get the green light. And yeah, I mean, it can be super frustrating. So just like having the ability to make the content that I'm ready to make when I'm ready to make it and has allowed me to just produce so much more than I would have working for any other company. And, you know, I'm doing all this by myself, like aside from like, you know, obviously my wife's financial support and my, you know, my, my dad helps me out. Um, you know, it's like, I would never have been able to do this without them. And yeah, I mean, I, I, I sometimes get down on myself for, for, you know, being like a, a spoiled brat, like who, can't even, you know, build a business with free money. Um, but you know, the, the channel does progress and, and it is growing. Um, and even, you know, I've been working on it for a few years and it's coming along, but you know, it's got, it's got a long ways to go. So I just figured that, you know, if I could get some kind of a, a day job, you know, I, I just spent so much time by myself like just sitting here editing videos or going through footage or whatever. It's just like very lonely and, and, you know, it's, it's hard to motivate myself. And, and so, you know, just like interacting with people is so uplifting and, um, you know, especially after this past year. And so, yeah, I'm just like, 
yeah, I would, I would love to like at least have a part-time job just, you know, for a little extra money and, and, um, yeah, just, uh, just the ability to meet more people and integrate into a community out in Denver, uh, a little bit, you know, more productively than, than I did here, which, you know, I didn't really do at all. I, and I'm sorry, I'm sad to say, but, um, yeah, like learning from the experience and, and, uh, you know, I've, I do have a lot of plans and ambitions for the channel, so I hope that you'll, you'll stick with it and, um, yeah, forgive, forgive the, uh, inconsistencies during this transitionary period. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just stoked to be getting back into it. Uh, you know, I've been thinking about making this video for literally weeks and every time I'm about to do it, I just like, I just feel bummed. I don't want to talk about these things. I, I don't want to like make excuses or sound like I'm making excuses about why I'm not making videos, you know, cause it's not like I'm not, I am making videos. I mean, like, let's just say that like, one out of every four or five videos that I make doesn't get uploaded, you know, so there's those videos, but then there's also just like, I spend a lot of time filming sometimes or, you know, writing scripts or whatever. And it's, it's not, I'm not the best at time management. So, you know, I definitely wasn't able, like, you know, after maybe 15 or 16 weeks of uploading every week, I, I just wasn't able to maintain that. And then I kind of got in my head. Yeah whatever. I'm rambling now. Anyway, this is way longer than I wanted it to be. Uh, and I probably talked about way more stuff that I'll have to, uh, now edit. But anyway, uh, I love you all. Uh, thank you so much for, for your support and for your views and for your time. And yeah, just, yeah. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos. Um, yeah, it just, uh, it's, it's, it's the most rewarding feeling I've, I've ever had is, you know, because it's just pure and simple hard work that yielded pure and simple appreciation. And yeah, uh, I should have nothing to complain about. I just, uh, I just, yeah, I, I wanted to keep you all informed, but I also didn't want to like make a video about nothing and you know have people wondering like why do I care why do I need to know this like just upload a video when you're ready to make one but look this is my life you know I uh I'm experiencing it as 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 much as uh as much as uh you know to some of you I may just be like a source of information you know I I uh and, you know, as much as I want to be that person for you guys and, and be helpful, um, you know, I, I, uh, I feel like I, I want to like have some kind of back and forth with you guys and just sort of, obviously the comments are good, but if I'm not uploading all that frequently, it's, it's sort of, you know, I, I don't know what, what's going through your head. I don't want someone to think, oh, he's moving to Colorado. He's not going to be uploading any Northeast videos, unsubscribe. Oh, you know, he's not uploading. He hasn't uploaded video this week. Maybe he's done unsubscribe. You know, I mean, I'm sure nobody thinks about it like that. And I'm sure nobody's paying that close attention, but you know, it's easy to overanalyze yourself and, um, yeah, you know, just, uh, want to keep doing the thing. So yeah, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thrilled to have you. Um, you know, this is, a very unusual video. So, um, yeah, just go watch something else. I have a bunch of playlists on the channel page, whatever. I'm, I'm talking too much, but yeah. Uh, thank you so much for watching and for your patience and yeah, for your kind words and for your time. And if you're looking for new gear or planning your next trip, don't let the small details stress you out. Cause remember, Life's an adventure, so relax, breathe in the outdoors, and don't forget to appreciate the finer things in life. See you out there, people. Peace.